Taurus, welcome into your daily reading for Sunday the 18th of December. We want to show you important messages from your spirit guides about what you do not see coming, okay? So this can be with regards to any aspect or any area of your life. We're going to see what comes through in the reading. So uh, remember, this is a general reading and if you resonate with it, you will know. If not, please do check your rising, your moon and your Venus. Um, okay, conclusions are within reach here. So there is going to be some kind of situation that you are dealing with here there could be a situation you're trying to solve or something that you're trying to bring into your life here with this card there is going to be coming like a solution to this problem or it could be an understanding as to what you need to be doing next it does say conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so it means right now there's a problem that you have or something that you're trying to get right or do or there's a question mark you have about something and you don't have an answer to what that is or a solution to what that is that is coming in for you quite unexpectedly because i'm saying this is what you do not see coming so this is almost like unexpectedly a situation moves unexpectedly um, a solution comes in or an opening happens so let's get in here and see what's going on with you okay so you're going to get very busy there's going to be a lot of movement happening oh that's ending whatever that is that is ending you have a decision to make all right about a new beginning yes there is an ending that's going to take place here there is an ending um let's see what else comes through it comes through here uh you've got a ten of pentacles a six of pentacles wow you're completely refocusing your energy here and you're going to let something go i see yes the death, death card you are going to let something go here you are letting something go um in your life i feel like Information may come through for you here. Um, something is going to be revealed. Information gets revealed. Uh, somebody's behavior gets revealed. For some of you, this is a relationship. Um, you have a decision to make about the information that you receive. And it is a two of wands, which means that you're on a fork road here. And um, you're going to choose one or the other roads uh, for yourself. So there's a choice that you're going to be making. And you are going to be looking at working on yourself here. Whenever I see this card, I always see like she's so busy. She's got all those arms, all busy doing something. But at the same time, she looks absolutely fabulous. You know what I mean? She's like got the rose in her hair and she's got an amazing outfit on. And I feel like she's going, I'm working on myself. I'm taking care of myself. I see you making a decision here to let go of a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of anger. And it's almost like you're going, you know what? I'm going to start putting the effort into me. This is excellent. Okay. I feel like there's something that's going to be revealed to you here with this conclusion. It is going to end a painful cycle for you. And I feel like you don't want to be in this anymore with the Ten of Swords. It's been quite a lot. Um, you've been holding on to trying to get something to work here. You've been holding on to um, a person in a situation a hope a dream or something that is just not working for you because you cannot be receiving 10 swords in a situation if a sword is coming in your direction that adds up to 10 swords that is not your situation then you need to leave you need to come out of it you need to literally think about what is good for you and this choice this decision that you make brings in a new cycle for you a new beginning for you. This is you actually beginning to feel good in life. This is you starting to make a decision to celebrate your life instead of being in pain in your life. And that means taking control. This is the 1111 card. It can sometimes show up in your life when you are seeing repetitive numbers, when you are picking up on signs from the universe that are coming in that is letting you know that a major ending, this is a major ending for you, okay, is about to take place. You, It's, it's all over in this reading. It's the two of wands, the four of wands, the death card, and the uh, awakening at the bottom here. Interesting how they are on all the corners like this, do you see? kind of reminds you of 11 11 like 1 1 1 1 do you see that like if all of these cards were a number it would be 1 1 1 1 so with this energy um you've got the awakening which is a judgment card coming in here this is an indication that whatever this ten of swords is for you um it is a karmic situation and this is the one thing i do understand about karma karma cannot be uh 
fixed if you're dealing with it. So you're in a situation, perhaps uh, with a person, and that person and you have a karmic connection. This is what I know. A karmic situation is like a loop. It keeps on looping around and around and around and around. And it can get bigger and bigger or worse and worse, depending on what's going on. And the only way to break the karma is to break the contact with whatever the karma is. It is to go into isolation. It is to break contact. You cannot play with karma because karma will play back with you and it will never end. It will just keep on going and it can cause a major repercussions in your life here with that. It can affect everything in your whole world. So if there's a karmic situation that is not working and is causing a ten of swords for you, it is going to be removed from you. Moving forward here, I do see a shift taking place. Interesting, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, this could be work-related for some of you. You could be ending a very difficult um, work relationship or connection to a company or where you are working. Maybe you're going, you know what, I'm just going to step out of this and go look for a new job. I cannot do this any longer. Or it can be a relationship where you are going, I don't know, I just cannot stay in this energy. This shift for you that starts to remove this karma out of your life brings in a complete new energy into your world. There is going to be a very different way that life reacts to you after this because you are going to have abundance, first of all, and stability like you've never seen before. This could be you getting a job that pays even more money. This could be you having people that surround you that are very supportive of you because you made the decision to be supportive of yourself. And so that is what you will receive from others. There's a lot of money involved in this card here, a lot of stability. And this is this energy of how people will react around you. The moment you do the right thing for yourself, that's how other people will treat you. The way you treat yourself is how other people treat you. And this does not mean that you treat yourself well, you eat healthy, you go to gym, you look after yourself, you, you, you think positively. If you are allowing a situation in your life that causes the Ten of Swords and needs you to heal, then you are not treating yourself well. That is not self-love. Self-love is hard because you have to say no and close things off here that hurt you. That's true self-love. You have to protect yourself. And the moment you do that, everybody else around you will do the same thing. During this process now, you are truly healing. Take your time. Release what you need to release. Rest and recover. And um, sort of like think about what it is you would like your life to, to be like. Think about what, how you would love to be experiencing. She's literally lay there daydreaming, you know, sending out energy into the, into the universe. She's daydreaming about positive things because she's smiling, okay? So she's healing, but at the same time, she's dreaming about what can be. She's focusing on what she can do and where the changes need to happen in her life so that she can be happy. And ultimately, yes, there is a death card coming in here. We've got Scorpio coming into your reading, which means there's an ending. There is a death card. There's a judgment card. There is an ending that's taking place. There is something that's about to shift. But this is not about the, re the ending. It is about your rebirth. So think here exactly how you would like that rebirth to look for you and make plans for the future and start to live the life that will make you happy. There we go. Thank you so much, Taurus, for watching. If you want to catch more content, you can check out my new Pick a Card reading channel. There is a new video out there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending my love to you. Bye.